In Sunday's contest against the Cubs in Seattle, outfielder Dominic Canzone made this catch running into the wall, would leave the game, and later it was reported that he would be heading to the injured list with an AC joint sprain. And Canzone, through the Mariners' first 16 games of the season, had the highest on-base plus slugging on the team in a lineup that has been struggling mightily. In a corresponding move, it was announced that the Mariners would be calling up their number 10 overall prospect in 21-year-old switch-hitting outfielder Jonathan Class A. As Kylie notes here, he's a plus-plus runner with an OPS over 1,000 in AAA to start the year. And what does plus-plus speed look like? Well, he's currently scouted with a 70-grade run tool and was the first player in minor league history since they started tracking in 1961 to have a 20 home run, 70 steal season. And it wasn't just a 20-70 season. He was one stolen base away from making it a 20-80 season. He finished the 2023 season across High A Everett and Double A Arkansas with a 242 batting average, 20 home runs, 68 RBIs, and 79 stolen bases. That was in 129 games played. And as I mentioned, he is a switch hitter. In 2023, from the left side of the plate, he batted 246 with a 365 on base percentage and a 430 slug. From the right side of the plate, he batted 226 with a 311 on base percentage and a bit higher of a slug from the right side of the plate. As you can see, he had about half the amount of home runs from the right side of the plate as from the left side, and just a quarter of the amount of plate appearances. Starting 2024 in AAA, in 12 games, he's batting 311 with a 396 on base percentage, a 1.018 OPS, including two home runs, with eight total extra base hits, including four doubles and two triples. He also has recorded three stolen bases so far on the year. And here are his stats from the left side and right side of the plate to start the year, although it is a small sample size, just 12 games. Both of his home runs so far on the year are from the left side of the plate, which skews his OPS to that side of the plate. On top of his abilities at the plate and on the base path, his speed and athleticism has allowed him to make consistent plays like the ones you're seeing here. And coming through the system as a center fielder, he can move around to whichever outfield position is needed to be filled. Jonathan originally signed with the Seattle Mariners as an international free agent on July 2nd, 2018, out of the Dominican Republic. He would progress through the Mariners farm system over the coming years, and in 2023 with his stellar performance, he was named to the All-Star Futures game in Seattle alongside fellow prospect Harry Ford. The next wave of Mariners prospects are beginning to take their next steps, so be on the lookout for Jonathan Class A in his debut, and let's hope he provides a spark that the Mariners are desperately needing. Thank you for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe to the Couch GM and follow me across social medias to stay up to date on all things Mariners and baseball. And if you're thinking of buying, selling, or refinancing in the Pacific Northwest, make sure to reach out to myself, the Couch GM, or visit lenderconnorweb.com to hit a home run with your mortgage financing needs. And we'll see you next time.